Nice day everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a form and insert data to MySQL server using Node Red and Bootstrap View. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am expecting you already have knowledge in HTTP request in MySQL server so I will just jump to creating the endpoint and formulating the query. Our endpoint to add data will be post named, tuts add expense. This is the query to insert the expense. Our post endpoint will expect a JSON containing the following data and with the following keys. Let's test the tuts at expense endpoint by creating the HTTP request. The hard-coded data from inject node was successfully saved in MySQL database. Now, let's go to our UI Builder app to create the form. I will open my pre-coded form and copy some of the code for faster coding. Note: I will not be explaining about data binding, V models and other view directives. Documentations are available in bootstrapview.org and viewjs.org. To create the form, let us start by removing the Jumbotron we added on our previous tutorial. Let me adjust the top margin of our form. From here, I will copy the codes to create the form. Our form will have the following fields and data type. Expense type is drop-down selection. Amount is number with prepend peso sign. Date is of type date. Time is of type time and remarks of type text. Let me format the bootstrap view directives so we can easily read them. These directives are well documented in bootstrapview.org. I will provide in the description the link. Now, I will add the variables for our data binding. These are the variables used in vModels.
Now let me add the function, add expense. This function is called every time the add expense button is clicked. I added the variable self with value this so we will have reference to our view component when inside the then of our Axios post. Our Axios post should send a JSON of the format described. Now let me add the methods to set current date and time to date and time pickers. Current date and time is assigned every time the form.view is mounted. Let's add the clear form method. We will call this after a successful post so our form is cleaned for new entries. Now let us add the method to show notification. We will call this method to notify user that data has been successfully posted in database. A modal appears for user confirmation. Let's refresh the app and navigate to form to see the changes.
I will add new expense to database using the form we created. It was successfully saved. Using the table from our previous tutorial, we can see the new data. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you on the next tutorial. Thank you.